Over the past several centuries, the Greek city-states have expanded their influence both in Hellas and overseas. Now, a powerful coalition led by the dual monarchy of Sparta is challenging your city-state of Athens for dominance in a conflict that has lasted three decades. In the wake of the disastrous Sicilian expedition, Sparta has seized the initiative, claiming several key victories and drawing ever closer to Athens. You have no hope of defeating the battle-hardened Spartans in the field at present, but there is a chance that you may be able to defend the city long enough for reinforcements and supplies to arrive and turn the tide in your favor. The Spartan army is reliant on a large baggage train of supplies. If it is captured, their siege will be delayed considerably. Alrighty folks, welcome back to the glory of Greece. This is Scenario 6, The Siege of Athens. The objective for this one is to capture the Spartan baggage train, represented by four artifacts. It is a challenging and a little bit gimmicky mission, but uh, let's begin. First things first, we want to grab basically everyone. Except you. Okay, I'm gonna grab you three. Go right here. Go to granary. You three can build a storage pit here. We need to sort out wood production ASAP Rocky. Gold. Grab food. Okay, we don't want to push out too far. This gold's very risky to take. Sometimes it triggers the enemy, sometimes it doesn't. But far safer to grab the one at the back. So I find that building walls in this mission also sometimes triggers the enemy. So again, we're just going to avoid that whole scenario. I am, however, going to grab two guys and put them on a boat. So the enemy keeps sending like periodic troops to us, so we want to kind of deal with what they're sending our way. These guys are going to sail over here. And we want to build some juggernauts. So yellow seems to be the main challenge in terms of harassment and then red seems to send periodic troops. I'm going to want to build a uh, base here, a second base. As soon as I have the resources for a second TC, we can grab some gold, we can grab some wood. So the enemy basically sends out periodic troops um, and eventually they'll just lay siege and when they do that's when we can go in and nab the uh, artifacts from under their very noses which is uh, quite funny. But these guys you keep kind of just skirting by just keep getting killed by the towers I don't need to worry about them so much. Let's say I've tried building walls and it's uh, really triggered the enemies <laughs> in uh, previous attempts. So instead, we are just going to play a safe version of this mission. We are going to run out of gold very quickly here. Oops, that's two and two, that's two and one. So we've got max upgrades already, so we don't have to worry about upgrades this mission. 
Now I've already got Max Pop as well. At this point, before, um, sorry, three juggernauts, we should be able to take care of yellow. This does sometimes trigger red, so we'll see. I find this mission quite interesting in sort of what triggers what. Well, we do need to take care of yellow regardless, so we'll uh, push forward for that. Just luring the enemy basically, pulling them out of position, taking smaller fights that we can win. It really is kind of a problem. And pop cap is the other challenge I've got now. So I'm actually going to start pulling some workers. I just need more more military, more navy, more than anything. Some I managed to pick up a fishing boat. That's not helping me at all. So, um, red attacking isn't really the problem. Brown is the one we need to pull out of position. The juggernauts are doing the majority of the damage to the buildings. They'll also take care of the uh, ballista if we need them to. Okay, this other dock and that will, they don't rebuild so once yellow's docks are dead they'll they're dead for good looking at soap at this point we want military, so I'm actually going to pull a couple of guys off of this. Oh, also want some cataphracts, so I'm going to build a couple of those. At this point yellow is properly dead. For the most part. Uh, when we transport ship go back up with these guys anymore. So I'm not sure if killing yellow is a trigger, but it might well be. Um, so I'm just going. Ah, oh, there it is. Just that. Found it. So what I'm going to do is send a couple of guys. That's a cataphract in here. Well, oh, no. heavy cav actually. I don't think it's a cataphract. Oh. Oh, Brown's attacking. Interesting. 
That was technically one of the triggers I was waiting for, but oh, they just sent that and nothing else. I need their whole army ready to be sent. So this is going to be my, uh, I'm going to capture you little fishy army. I'm wondering if triggering this will actually trigger the enemy. It's very possible. Okay, that triggered them. So that does look to be the trigger then. Good to know. Or at least it definitely seems to be a trigger for them to start attacking us. So we are not going to win this fight. That is for sure. As much as we would wish it otherwise. We just don't have the population take on both armies but as soon as um, Brown moves its entire army to attack us oops, um, yeah basically we can we can start our uh, obtaining of the artifacts which are all left unguarded once Brown leaves um, I don't know I noticed 25 minutes seems to be a potential trigger I don't know if that is the case, or whether that was the case on a single instance, but I guess we'll soon find out. To be fair, we've injured this army enough. I'm sure why that keeps pulling up chat. Interesting. Could be once red goes down, so it could be that you take out yellow, red attacks, take out red, brown attacks. I wonder if that is how it works, or whether it's timed or what. I guess we'll soon find out, because red hasn't got much left. I'm wondering if we take out red, does brown attack? And once brown attacks, we can basically nab the artifacts, so there'll be nothing to defend them. Well, whether it's timed. I guess we'll soon find out at 25 minutes. Might just use one of these just to scout, actually. So I'm very curious to see if it is the timer or whether it is actually the uh, defeating of enemies that triggers the enemy to move out. Uh, 25 minutes now, so... Oh, they have moved out. Cool. Perfect. Now we can nab in, go in and nab the things. And I'll just leave them completely unguarded over here. Right for the taking. But yeah, Brown is the army that actually uh, defends it, so... Hence why we're waiting for them to move out. GG's. Your intrepid defense has thus far parried the assaults of the feared Spartan Alliance. Deprived of their supply train, the Spartans grow discouraged as they watch ships bringing provisions into Athens each day. In frustration, they have turned to pillaging the nearby countryside while your citizens watch them from the safety of the high walls of their citadel. This jubilation is not to last, however. Word has finally reached Athens of the Spartan victory at Egos Potomai and the destruction of the Athenian fleet. Without a navy, it will not be long before your supply lines in turn are cut. Perhaps the Spartans will be willing to negotiate a peaceful settlement to the war.
<laughs> Unlikely. Anywho, folks, that'll worry about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.